Well, we got a, actually what happened is we got a phone call about two weeks ago, yeah. not even quite that long ago, from a stranger on the phone who said, um, I've been looking for this phone number for three years. And I said, well, who are you? And she says, Roberto prayed for me over at Kaiser three years ago, and I just want to say what happened. Had to remind us where you met, how you met, and what happened. She said, she was sitting outside at Kaiser, reading scripture, and Roberto came along and said, um, You're reading the best book that you will ever read in your life. And so, uh, and then he went on into his appointment. And then when he came back out of his appointment, she was still there. And so he came up to her and she, he started to talk to her again and asked her, uh, you know, what was she reading? And then you began to ask her about... I asked her, have you been baptized in the Holy Spirit? And she said, no. So I read some scriptures of, regarding the Holy Spirit. And um, I said, would you like to be baptized in the Holy Spirit? And she said, yes. And I said, I said great. Uh, uh, Let's walk forward to my wife's car. And so Sharon and I pray for her to receive the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was the end of it at, at that time. At that time. And now that I just cut my hand about a week ago. <laughs> and now. Uh, what happened was he asked Sheree, the nurse, uh, if, he, if she would clean the wound, and then um, she said, sure, and she cleaned the wound, and of course, he had to pray for her. So he says, are you married? And she says, no. Do, do you want to be? And she said, yeah, I do. Do you want to have kids? Yeah, I do. And so, <laughs> can I pray for you? So he prayed. We both prayed for her. Though, uh, so then we left that. But then Brenda says, she says, well, the reason I got your phone number is because my best friend is Sheree. I happened to meet her, uh, meet up with her last week, and she told me about this man that came in and prayed for her. And um, Brenda said, well, is he Hispanic? And Sheree said, yeah. Was he wearing a hat? She says, yeah, maybe you should put your hat on. <laughs> and um, did it, was his wife there with him? She says, yes. Did she pray in tongues over you? And she said, yes. And Brenda goes, that's the same person. I'm sure of it. What's his name? And, and she says, Roberto Munoz Flores. And she goes, that's him. I've been looking for three years for him. Wow. Can I, and she says, can I get his phone number? She gave the phone number. And that's how we got back in touch. And then, so she called us and she says, she says to us, well, I live in Tarzana. And I said, we live in Tarzana. And she said, well, whereabouts? She says, because I live near the Orange Line. She said, well, we live near the Orange Line. And so we told her where we lived. She li we live three blocks away from her. So she came over to our house, and she told us the entire story, which goes on quite long, but she's been on a spiritual journey all this time. Yeah. And her husband, who's Jewish, became, because of our prayers, became a believer became, now he's a Messianic believer, he goes to uh, Adat Yeshua, oh, which is where I think Michael Cohen goes. Yeah. And um, and then we just got into this conversation with her, yeah. and she is on fire for the Lord. On fire for the Lord. And some of her friends, well, she brought another friend over here that we prayed for while they were here, who had insomnia. And we prayed for her, and her friend called her the next day and said, I slept through the night for the first time in a long time. Mm. And so we just thank God for the different ways that the Lord has used you in people's lives and, and you know, brought them closer to Him and brought healings to people. Yeah. yeah, it's been amazing, an amazing journey. And it hasn't stopped. It keeps on going. Right. Keeps on going. <laughs>